So one thing that's been really annoying lately is that as I've been working on editing my videos, I've had to go in and sync the audio. It's easy enough, right? I clap my hands and I cut that part out and I match the sound up. That's the easy part. However, the real problem happens when I'm looking at the timeline three to five minutes later and I notice that all of a sudden my audio is out of sync again. This usually happens toward the end and so that's why sometimes you'll see me down in the little bubble talking or my mouth is moving and no sound is matching up because what's been happening... So here in OBS you'll notice this frames missed due to rendering lag. And what was happening before is that this would increase quite substantially. Now it is at five, which is not bad, not what I want, but not bad. The main difference that I have set, done this week is I am actually running this on Wayland. And since I'm running this on Wayland, I decided, you know what? It may make sense to do a 30 day challenge and see, can I do everything that I need to do in Wayland at this point? Because the last time I tried this, it was something where I was having a decent bit of issues with Wayland, but that was almost a year ago now. So I'm running an NVIDIA card. I am using KDE Plasma. That combination traditionally has not done well with Wayland, but it's been a year. I've heard that KDE Plasma has improved compatibility with Wayland, and I've heard that NVIDIA has gotten better with it as well. The issues I had before were mainly when I would lock the computer, it would not allow me to bring the lock screen back up to unlock and I would just have to reboot. But the other thing that I'm noticing in Wayland so far, <laughs> if we pull up Reaper here, uh, notice this, this UI looks okay, but notice this bar at the top. So... <laughs> That's the menu bar, and there, there are actually options there to put perspective on how big that actually is when I look at it on my screen. It's about the end of my finger, about a third or a quarter of that. That's how small it is, meaning I literally have to zoom in the entire screen to be able to see anything in that menu bar. So I guess that's going to be challenge one to get done with before the end of this 30 days, as to see if I can get certain applications like that to scale better with the UI. It's interesting because most of the U rest of the UI elements scale fairly well. So I guess time will tell on if this challenge works out. I will be keeping you updated. If I have to call an end to the challenge, I'll of course make a video about that. I'm gonna try to document any kind of problems that I have during this and see what I can do to solve them. And by the way, this was not my first option. I did not want to actually go this route. I have tried turning off compositing. I have tried updating some NVIDIA settings. Both of them still had the same issue. So we may even distro hop during this challenge. Who knows? But we're going to give Wayland 30 days and see if, see if I can make it last 30 days. If I can keep it for 30 days, there's a decent chance that I can just keep running Wayland at this point. And won't that be kind of crazy when Wayland has been on the rise for so long to actually be able to run Wayland for day-to-day -day use? For those of you out there that have used Wayland or tried Wayland, what has been your experience with it? What challenges have you faced? Is there anything that I really need to try to check out during this next 30 days and see if I can, you know, see if it works for me or see if I can solve it? Feel free to sound off in the comments below. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.